there and fuel into the motor to ignite. So years of practice, I'm not going to go into the math. I told you that's something I'm not going to do for a little while. Uh, I can't tell you my tricks, we get that much into it. But I can tell you that a lot of work goes into balancing these two out to correct that problem. Uh, I've had a lot of compliments over the years on my big block heads when people tell me how the idle quality is on it, fuel mixture problems that they had with other heads they don't have because of mine, and this is why, right here. Um, depending on the camshaft and what it's running, I can really get them balanced out pretty good. To, as when I say balanced, what I mean is looking at the seats of both valves and the opening and closing times of the camshaft, the amount of volumetric efficiency and air and fuel when the valve closes that's in each one of them cylinders. That's what I'm referring to. Not mathematically balancing out each runner, whether it's a straight or a hook, although that is in there, it's not the purpose of it. That's probably getting way above what I'm ready to show y'all, but I just wanted to show you this real quick because I'm going to show you on one of them that I've, that I've cut. Now, notice that on the hook port, look what we got going on. Pow, head bolt hole, which comes out and does this. So, like the headers, we're going to tube back. Tear that, get that straightened out. That also on the hook has a shorter volume, not as much volume as this. So, trying to go in here, pull that out, is going to bring us a little bit closer, somewhat, to this. And it's going to straighten out, and we're going to go into that tube. Now, this port here will have no tube in it. Um, it's it doesn't need a problem solved. Like I said, it ain't just porting the head for more airflow or more volume or whatever. It's fixing the problem in the head, the ports. What is the problem causing one to flow more air than the other? Or where is the restriction is really the proper way to word this. Let's take the restrictions out of the head. Uh, that would be the same thing as let's port the head if it's meant by somebody that actually cuts the damn meat out of it, which there's not many of us left, believe me. So anyway, I just wanted to go over that, touch it with you. Now I'm going to bring the camera in and I'm going to show you a little interesting tidbit. I uh, had to break the sonar, son, that sonic checker out to go in here and hit this, and this is going to be hairy. It's a major problem in the head on high lift airflow, and we've got to do something about it. And um, uh, Raymond, we discuss this quite a bit on your heads, and, and I'm just not going to worry about it no more. I'm going for it. I, I want the shape. I want you to have the power, and I know we're not going to have a problem if we bust through. So anyway, let's go ahead. Let me relate this to you. I, I've got one of the last ports here that ain't got much material out of it. Uh, and but of course the uh, the guides and the roof and all that's been taken down. But let me show you what I'm talking about here as we get inside. All right. Now one of the things I noticed, and I guess it's just the casting quality. The humps on one head are about fifty thousands taller than the other. Again, this is cylinder head to cylinder head. Consistency, I've seen it on Brodex, I've seen it on Dart, and I'm going to show you here. I hope the camera can really give you this. I'll try to dim, all right. You see this hump right here, okay? That's, that's the spring perch. Well, here comes this air hauling ass. Now you've got the big guide boss there. It starts to pitch it up, starts its vortices and tumbling, and pow, hits that. That ain't going to work for us. And... We've also got to do something about this. I'm going to make it in a teardrop style. I'm going to pull this down some. There is a chance right in here I'm going to bust through the head. Uh, how bad I bust, I'm not sure. But you know what? Let's go ahead. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a sonic checker on this turkey. But there's no way that the sonic checker... It's going to fit on that, so I'm going to have to make a notch for it so that the sonic checker can lay in there and, and give us a reading, okay? okay? Now, all I'm looking for here is to make me as small a V shape as I can get 
So I'm going to come in. All right, now what I'm thinking is right there, I should have enough of a plant for the sonic checker. So let's take a look at what the wand looks like. There's my wand, I'm gonna go in there. See, remember how I had that little divot in the center? I should be able to lay it right there now and pick off. Now I might have to go back a little bit deeper, but let's try. I just barely took a little bit off the top and see what kind of thickness we got. Uh, I don't know how I can get this where you can see it at the same time. Yeah, it's going to be hard with the glare of the light and the port. So I'm just going to have to call out the numbers to you this time. I always try to get it where I can do it, but let me see. No, not being able to... I can try. Hold on a minute. Let's see what we got. See, once again, that damn light is right in the way. I don't know how well... Wait a minute. All right, maybe... This is the best I can do, guys, and now you're not going to be able to see me all the way in the port, but you will see the sonic wand flutter, and maybe it'll pick up a number. Let's see what we got. All right, I've dipped it in the crap. You always have to put some, I use white lithium is what BHJ told me. And blame it, it hadn't charged enough. I'm gonna have to hook it up. Hold on a minute. It's working. I barely touched and trim like I said. I didn't take hardly much, but this is shifted. Wow. According to this, I'm fixing to bust right through it any minute on that one spot. And then I move it a little bit. See, it's just, this is an impossible place to pick up because at the very, very edge of that spring seat is where it's going to bust through. Right there, see, I'm showing 200 thousandths, but I move it one little spot and it drops down to like, see, look, 15, 18 thousandths. It's just, I can't, I can't really pick up. It's like trying, even though I notched it, if I had to say the number I would go with on this, because I measured it from the top, tried to pick off of the bottom, um, I know it's right around. I've gotten that number too many times. So it looks like a quarter of an inch, which that makes sense before it starts to go through. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out and get it level. Then what's funny is after the grinding's done and I make it level, then I can take the sonic wand and pick off of it and get a true reading. It's just like I told y'all, the sonic checker ain't God, but there's no way in hell that you're going to fully pour it ahead without this unless you are going to bust through and you're ready to repair it. I, I, I live by this. This is the most important tool in the arsenal of a serious head porter. All right. Let me go ahead. I'm going to do the blending on it, pull it down, and recheck it. We'll get back in just a second.